Hello and welcome to this the Zero AD Champions Cup Game 3 Feldfeld versus Borg Feldfeld being in the blue and Borg being in the red Six ladies coming out for Borg and five for Feld Pretty standard Count for the farmstead. DSD. Storehouse over here and many houses. DSD. Considering they are free. Since they are made of mud brick. Some skirmishes coming out for Feldfeld and slingers for Borg. Slingers, of course, as he is playing the Brightons, whereas we have Feldfeld on the Ptolemies. I'm sure you can tell by what's going on on the screen, anyway. Even though the Gaul... no, nah, the Brightons and the Gauls do actually look a little bit different. Yeah. It's just the roofs are kind of similar. And these may look similar to uh, Kushites or whatever, but it's different. Is it? I don't know. More ladies, more slingers. There's the unit composition over here. This is what we've got over here. Oh. Wicker baskets for Feldfeld, whereas none for Borg. Only a minor thing, but it exists. Eight Celtic women coming out, and seven Egyptian women. Hmm. coming out for Borg we will be seeing the same thing coming out for Feldfeld quite soon I would imagine going to chop down specifically that tree Not a super great deal to talk about in these early game segments. Feld Feld a little ahead in population. Sacrificing that early wood to get the baskets will give you early population, but lesser ability to train infantry early. Also, trade off. Dock coming out. Feld Feld also. It's just down here. Feld 
fishing is already occurring over here on the bog side. Catching up with that population now, but is capped no longer. DST, DST, DST. Seven skirmishers coming out, straight onto the gold or uh, mineral. What, what is it called in this? Metal. <laughs> Going down the storehouse. Okay. Four skirmishers coming out and six Borg. Another fishing boat. Incredible resource management from Borg. All of his resources are always being spent. He's not just letting resources pile up. Ten ladies coming out. And a second dock. Looks like we're going to see some river action, which is why I'm concentrating on this section. I feel like this is going to be a pivotal section here. What am I saying? I, I know it's going to be a pivotal section. I watched this replay already. <laughs> Forty six ladies in total. Fifty one ladies in total. And level two coming. Town phase coming out for Borg at about the same time. Where is the where was the default camera angle? Somewhere. Somewhere about here, I guess. Pent Pentera is coming out harassing these fishing vessels. Population capacity just slightly too low. Whereas Feldfeld doesn't have to worry about being pop capped at any point. He's ballooned up in population. Big, big batches. Big, big batches.
I like how they have eyes on them. The boats. It looks like a face. It has a nose also. There must be a hundred people in there rowing and only one of them has arrows to shoot. What is it that they're shooting? They're shooting some kind of big, big thing. What is that? Yeah, no, I think this is going to be the appropriate angle. I know it's not the default, like, standard thing, but... This boat action is where it's all happening. Like, this is interesting, like... But y you know what this looks like. This happens all the time. This happens in many games. Not very many games have this happen. I mean... Not very many maps have a big blob of water in the center of them, for starters. Can't find sport space to spawn. Can't find space to spawn trained units. For some reason, that sentence is difficult to say. versus three boats, but Feldfeld's boats have more people inside and are getting repaired, or were getting repaired. Ah, but it was a good, it was a good little thing there. Feldfeld wasn't super concentrating on the, the raiding party that was happening in the meantime. First expansion going up now. Potomi's expansion is not does not give a lot of uh, area, but um, any area is enough. Especially on a map like this, you're just putting more things in between the enemy and your stuff, <laughs> your main town center. Just pumping these ships full of men now. Oh, he wants to get the men out of there before the boat explodes. Just in time there. Yeah, this is where it's all happening. It's all boats. It's just boats. That's what's happening today. It's boat time. They all have some people in them, almost all of them. The boat micro. Borg on another raid. Doing something back here. There are 39 slingers in total on these boats. Like, this is where all of the... There's so much fighting happening here. It doesn't look like so much, but that's 39 units for Borg, plus the boats. And the, oh, and the 11, you know. There's a lot. <laughs> there is a lot.
unable to ungarrison units. It's all happening. I'll tell you what. Back to the boats, back to the men, back to the boats, back to the farms. He's built a little way out here. It's well done. Oh. I thought I could hold shift and select more, but I can't. There are just too many boats. And Feldfeld has more boats. And it is not looking good for the Borgo. El, El Borgo Supremo. It's this. This is what won the game. This. Boats. There are some things getting taken down, but not enough and not fast enough. Oh, look at these. I like these. He really likes vision. I almost never see Borg not get carrier pigeons. not looking good. I mean, it's definitely looking good for Feldfeld. He's 50 ahead in population and has all of the map control. I'm going to not follow player for a second just so I can see what's going on down here. It's, it's over. <laughs> Now look at all of that. You can almost see everything on the map from this camera angle. Just everything. There, there's all of it. It's just, it's too much. Borg's bringing them in over, but they are. It's... He can only make units fast enough to replenish his army. He can't make you fast enough to increase it. DSD? Having men inside of boats will make the boat, boat very powerful, but very a very dangerous strategy. The Borg, the dock, belongs to Feldfeld, but he destroyed it, in fact. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, no, there's just not too much to say. Boats won the game. Yes, 
Well, you know, good micro won the game. Good, good everything. <laughs> micro and macro management. Yeah, once you see, once Borg sees these uh, catapults come out, you would have to think that that would be the end of it. Hey, what am I saying? I know that's the end of it. I've seen this replay before. <laughs> yes, I'm doing that joke again. Sometimes jokes are funny with like a bit of t time in between. Just maybe it didn't work this time, but sometimes it does. All right. It's Borg doing loves outposts. Just loves them. This is actually, a, these are actually perfect angles. Just the way, on follow player, all I have to do is leave follow player on and Ed Borg is making just these great camera angles for me at the right appropriate times. Like, I mean, I've moved it in the right spot, but like, He's putting it in the he's putting it in the right spots of on the map. I've just set the right angle. Yeah, that was not so good, but this next one will be good. It'll be right up there in the juice of it. That juice. How can they carry rocks that big? These guys are way strong, eh? Waveling the wiggling sticks. They're increasing with experience every time their sword swings. It was all determined by the boats. It was 100% determined by these boats here. Five boats, six boats. Are, um, are the Pentaria's more strong than the boats from the Brightons, or was it just micro management? Units inside that repairing over here. There was a pivotal moment. I'm pretty sure where there were two boats backed up here. Borg was fighting up towards it, and Feldfeld had some units pulled off trees and onto repairing the boat. I don't. I'm not sure if I actually caught it properly on the camera, but it happened. Trust me. Like something like that happened, and it was pivotal. Keeping those two alive. Because it was two, two or three versus three, and then he had another one come out, and then you know that one would have gone down, and the fight the fight would probably have gone differently without that little bit of extra management. It was very well played yet again by Feldfeld and by Borg, but just on this occasion, these boats, that boat work, won the day. Mm. 
You see, yeah. Right, okay. Somewhere about seven minutes here. Eight minutes odd. That's where it switched. Interesting. I wonder what specifically happened right there. Go back in the replay to like, in this video now. <laughs> to like 7 minutes 26 and check out what happened there. Something happened. And it cha and it it's what changed it. Entirely. Hmm. Alright. I hope that was informative. And enjoyable. And whatever else. I don't know. I hope it's whatever you wanted it to be. How about that? I hope, and I hope you have a good one. And peace.